Hey Pisces! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 2nd today till September 11th. Some of you might not see it till the 3rd. Sorry, my bad. I did a lot of videos today. <laughs> um, but anyway, hey guys, hey newbies for joining me. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you are experiencing directly or energy that um, someone in your environment is experiencing or someone who's energetically attached to you. OK, so keep that in mind. It's energy. So it can be vice versa. Now, Pisces, let's talk about what I picked up. I used to do a pre-shuffle session. I don't anymore, but I felt compelled to keep the cards out here that that flew out as I was prepping the deck. So I'm just going to keep them out here for you guys, because um, I feel a lot of shit going on with you Pisces. <laughs> I feel a lot of shit. The first thing I actually heard was flying fish, which I thought was quite hysterical. Um, oh, sorry, guys. I have a cut in my mouth and my tongue hits it every time I speak. And I did a lot of videos today, so it's, it's really hurting me now. Um, but anyway, Pisces, sorry, bring it back. Flying fish. If you've any, if any of you have ever seen flying fish, they're actually really cool. Especially if you like, you go out and see them at night. You like, you can't even like quite see them. They're just like a glimmer, just like a flash, and they're gone. Um, Pisces, I feel like that's where you're at right now. I feel like you're like you're on the go. Like you're making a lot of moves right now. It's like you're just like either you're just out partying a lot or you're out doing your thing a lot. Um, but either way, it's like you're going and you're on the move. I, but, but to be honest, Pisces, <laughs> some of you this feels like you have a goal in mind. And that's the goal you're heading towards. Others of you, I gotta be honest, feel a bit of like running, feel a little bit like running energy. Um, I also have a lot of anxiety with that. <laughs> sorry, cat hair. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I also feel some anxiety that some of you, um, I almost called you cancer. That's weird. Um, some anxiety that you might be feeling. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel like some of you have this anxiety about you Pisces, and I feel like you're kind of on the go, you're kind of on the run, like, I just got to keep doing, 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 like, I can't slow down, I can't slow down, whether that's because you got a lot on your plate, or because you don't want to deal with the situation, and there are cards here that indicate that you are, like, avoiding conflict, okay, um, more like you just dropped it, like, you're just like, yeah, I don't need to deal with this shit anymore, so I'm not gonna deal with this shit anymore, um, that's definitely some of the energy that I'm picking up from some of you guys. Um, others, I'm also getting a purging. That could be why some of you are having anxiety. I'm picking up on a lot of different stuff from my Pisceans, okay? So just keep that in mind. Take what resonates. It's not going to be for everybody. Um, but I also feel a big purging, like cathartic release happening. I don't I don't think you've experienced it yet. It, for some of you, it's been in little spurts, like waves. Waves of anxiety and purging. Waves of anxiety and purging. Waves of anxiety and purging. Um others of you it feels like it's gonna be one big purge like like one big trigger or one big like realization and you're just going to just fall <laughs> like it's just gonna come out it's just going to come out but Pisces I do feel like you're on the way to some really big things some things you've been wanting from yourself wanting from yourself oh, that's interesting I was about to say wanting for yourself from yourself I don't know what that's about from yourself oh interesting yeah Pisces some of you are in this mode because you are kind of challenging yourself a little bit. Okay, I like that. I like that. Some of you are doing this because you're challenging yourself. Like, can I do it? Maybe I can do it. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Whatever it is that you have in your in your mind of what it is that you think maybe you haven't been capable of or something that maybe you thought you haven't had the courage to do, you're going out and you're doing it. You're doing it. Either way, you're the flying fish, whether you're heading towards something or you're trying to avoid conflict and running away from something. I really feel some of you, it is a running away from because you're you're tired of dealing with conflict and you're just like over it and you don't want to deal with conflict. You just want to be flying high, right? You just want to be flying high, happy, calm, cool, collected. You just want to keep it chill for the Pisceans that are experiencing that. Others, like I said, you're challenging yourself and that could be why you're also purging a lot. You could, you could be challenging yourself in taking something on that you never thought you could do or doing something that you thought you could never do or making cho choices or decisions you thought you could never make for yourself, right? I like that energy. Either way, Pisces, a lot of you are purging. So just keep that in mind. And also we have the full moon in Pisces coming up on the 14th. Oh, Pisces, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a little rough, okay? <laughs> It's going to be a little rough. We got some funky aspects going on during that time that are not really kosher with each other. So full moon and Pisces might be a little rough, okay? But we'll see how it comes out for you guys. So like I said, I kept the cards out here that flew out that I would use as a pre-shuffle, so to speak. So we have the hanged man, Piscean energy with seven of cups in reverse, um, scorpionic energy. Uh, I feel like you're gaining clarity on what you want. It's what you want for yourself. You're tired of being confused as to what really makes you happy. Oh, 
There you go. You're tired of being confused as to what makes you really happy. We have five of wands in reverse, which is Leo energy. And then we have the 10 of wands in reverse, Sag energy. My throat chakra keeps cracking. It's interesting. Yeah, this is you dropping fighting. Dropping fighting, dropping conflict. You're just like not touching it with a 10 foot pole is like what I'm feeling with that. And then we have eight of pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. And then the death card in reverse scorpionic energy. You're not putting effort into resurrecting something. You're not putting effort into resurrecting something. Why am I wanting to focus on this? You don't want to resurrect something. I, I feel more of that running energy. I feel more of that running energy. You don't want to put any effort into it. You don't want to put any effort into it. You don't even want to acknowledge it, Pisces. You don't even want to acknowledge it. All you want to do is gain clarity on what makes you happy. And then we had temperance come out and it landed right on top of this energy. I can hold it up. So we had this energy of clearing your head, right? And then the temperance card landed right on top of it. Healing. Healing and balance. Yeah, you're really focused on what makes you really truly happy right now. Um, and you're not about conflict. You're not about resurrecting anything. Like, I feel like you're really looking forward, like that flying fish energy, right? Whether you're running, <laughs> running away, or you actually have a goal in mind as to what you want for yourself, whether that's balance, healing, clarity, and improve new you, new experiences. Either way, Pisces, you're heading forward. Some of you are purging. Some of you will be cathartic. Um, and some of you, I got to be honest, it's just running. Lovers in reverse at the bottom. Gemini energy. All right, Pisces. So that's a lot of information. I know. It was a lot of stuff. It was a lot of energies, like I said, going on around some of you guys. And like I said, for some, you're running. Others, you're, you have a goal in mind. That's what you're doing, okay? All right, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I, I can't do the intro anymore. <laughs> I was doing Aries, and I was like, I can't. I can't. It's like, I did a lot of videos today. So you guys know the rules. It's vice. It can be vice versa. It ain't for everybody because I can't read for everybody. Uh, gender doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. What else? It can apply to more than just love. It can apply to work, family, and friends as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. Okay. Oh, and if you have any questions about how to interpret readings as a, as a viewer, please check out the link below. Okay. Now, Pisces, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm seeing checkers. I don't know what that's about. I'm seeing checkers. Um, like, a, yeah, Pisces, I feel like a lot of you are making moves. I feel like a lot of you are making moves, but some of you... Mm, are you guys in a game? I don't like this. Pisces, some of you are in the game with someone here. It almost feels like they make a move, you make a move. I can't make a move because they haven't made a move. Very five of swords. Very five of swords. Just be mindful of that energy if you're in that, because honestly, Pisces, five of swords doesn't get anybody anywhere, okay? Not in that kind of a game. Not in that kind of a game. If anything, it wastes time. So Pisces, again, the energy of deciding what makes you really happy, decide what makes you really happy and then do 10 moves at once if you have to, okay? Just to get out of the game. Uh, it's just not super healthy, okay? It's just not super healthy if you're doing that with a loved one or in a relationship, okay? Any messages for Pisces? It causes unnecessary hurt. Whether someone's doing it to you or you're doing it to someone, keep in mind, like I said, it could be vice versa. Any messages for Pisces regarding love? September 1st to the 11th. Any messages for... I just heard one-upping. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> it could be someone that's doing this to you, but there's an energy of one-upping. Again, very five of swords. Be mindful of that energy. Any messages for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th? Come on now. Ooh, cards are getting stubborn. Don't get stubborn on me, Pisces. I'm just the messenger. Any messages for Pisces? Ooh, we've got a page of cups here. We've got a page of cups. I like seeing that. Genuine emotion. Ge mm. Genuine emotion. All of a sudden I feel examination. What is this? Examination and like a slow tasting? What? What, what am I getting here? <laughs> examination and a slow tasting. A slow savoring. A sampling. A sampling. I feel decisions behind this. I feel decisions behind this page of cups. Pisces, you might be you might be wondering about getting your foot wet in a situation, and it feels like it's an, an emotional situation, almost like if I dip my toe, what will happen? It's almost like an experiment. If I do this, what will happen? If I do that, what will happen? You could be dating someone new, 
Because if it just feels like it's uncharted territory for you, whatever uncharted territory would be for you in the emotional realm, it feels new. It feels like really new territory. And you're like, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Um, it's that it's that kind of energy it's it's somewhere you're not used to being oh i'm feeling that cathartic purging now i'm feeling that cathartic purging for some of you this is like wondering if you should date somebody um wondering if you should try someone new i because i feel like tasting is like at the core of this which feels kind of sexy to me uh yeah i feel like you're you're sampling someone new i feel like you're sampling someone new others of you it could be just going into that purging mode being very authentic with yourself right and what you're feeling and challenging yourself into maybe digging deep into some of your wounds here any messages for pisces oh we got a queen of wands aries energy could also be fire or water yeah pisces i gotta be honest i feel like this is you i feel like this is your energy the queen of wands with the page of cups uh <laughs> sorry i just i just caught a visual it was like funny it was just like I can't, I can't, it's, I can't, I can't go there. Uh, <laughs> um, let's just put it like flirting. Let's just say that. Let's just say like a flirty, like, I can't, I can't, I can't go there. I can't go there. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Um, yeah, some of you are definitely tasting. Some of you are definitely tasting, sampling uh, someone, something new. Um, with this Queen of Wands energy, it is very powerful energy. It's very um, creative, magnetic I was like, why was that hard to say? <laughs> Magnetic, charismatic energy. It pulls people in. It pulls, it pulls in. You're pulling in. You're pulling people into you. Pisces, some of you are actively trying to entice someone. I can feel that. You're wanting to pull someone in close to you. Um, and again, this could be vice versa, but just be mindful of that because I feel like you're actually energetically pulling on someone and it could be very disruptive to them. It could be very disruptive to them in their life. I'm just saying, do what you want to do. But, um, you know, I don't know. Just be careful. Just be careful. I don't like getting energetically pulled on. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's what I'm getting at. You're trying to pull someone in. You're trying really hard to pull someone in to, to like, to dabble in the waters a little bit. You're getting a lot of attention. But I think that's because you're also out and about quite a bit, Pisces. Yeah, you're pulling in samples. We'll just put it that way. You're pulling in samples. You're pulling in samples. Um, yeah, you're pulling in samples. All right, let's see what else we got here. Any messages for Pisces? Ooh. Oh, wow. Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Two of Swords in reverse, Moon and Libra energy. And then we have Justice. Wait, oh, that's justice? Holy shit, that's justice. That's a badass justice card. <laughs> Libra energy. I feel like you've made a decision on something here, Pisces. So as you're sampling, pulling people in, you're, you, you are, I can feel it. It's like you are enticing people into you. It's almost like you're trying your hand at the dating game is what it feels like. Like you're trying your hand at the dating game or the flirting game. Maybe you haven't dated in a while, um, but it feels like you're really in that. You're really involved in that. But three of wands in reverse, two of swords in reverse, and justice, something's been cut out here. Three of wands in reverse is like you're not waiting on something anymore. Something's not happening. You're giving up on something. Two of swords in reverse is cutting that. Cutting that cord, and justice tells me that it is actually giving you balance. It's giving you a lot of balance. Let's see what else we have here. Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces? Any other messages for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th? All right, so I got one other card out here. Whoa, and then we've got the Ace of Wands. Wow, new passionate beginning here. New passionate beginning. So yeah, Pisces, it looks like you're cutting the cord on something that you got tired of waiting on or, or cutting the cord on something that you thought wasn't going to happen, wasn't going to come to fruition, and it is justified. You have justice on your side, quite literally. It's justified. And then you got a brand new spanking beginning. And like I said, I feel like some of you guys were like sampling and tasting here. Who are you tasting, Pisces? <laughs> Overall energy. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got two of cups. Cancerian energy underneath that. We have the ace of cups in reverse. Underneath that, we have the hangman in reverse. Piscean energy. Pisces, this feels like you're you're realizing that there's no more love between you and someone or that you don't love someone anymore or that you don't want a shot with someone anymore. And then you're cutting the cord on that, but then you end with, with passion here. You end with passion, a new beginning. It could just be a new taste for life. You know, it could be that. Others of you, you're purging lost love. 
you're purging lost love and you're cutting that cord of like attachment i think that's more for those who who are trying to challenge themselves where you're like i've been attached to this person for a while i've been attached to this situation for a while you know what i can do this i can cut the fucking cord i can do it i can do it i can do whatever the hell i want to do for my betterment and that's very much justified because you're realizing that there's either not enough love here or that the shot is gone or the window of opportunity is gone between you and someone else. And then boom, that new desire, passion comes in, right? All right, Pisces. Jeez. All right, so let's get into this energy a little bit. Let's look at the Page of Cups. Really curious about the Page of Cups. Uh, I'm going to use Gilded. No. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to use Gilded. I'm going to use Gilded for this one. Turn out the Page of Cups. Tell me about this tasty. <laughs> Spices, you guys crack me up. Tell me about this tasting. <laughs> Tell me about the page of cups. Tell me about the page of cups for Pisces. Tell me about the page of cups for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about page of cups. Tell me about page of cups. For Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Pisces. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Wow, strength, Leo energy. Something about control. I'm in control. Pisces. <laughs> wow, that's what I just heard. I'm in control. I'm in control. I'm in control. Very dominating, Pisces. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is also my uh, student card. It's like a research card, heavy analyzation, and also putting in a lot of effort. Yeah, Pisces, I really feel like you're trying to figure out how to pull people into you or pull one person in in, in, in particular like, I'm in control. I am in control of the situation. I'm in control of my environment. And you're figuring out how to do it. It's almost like energy manipulation, to be honest with you. It feels like, like you're energetically manipulating. Uh, again, be careful with that. I'm just saying. It, it's, it's cool to exercise how to do stuff like that. But just be mindful of the effect that you have on people, okay? Sometimes it's, you know... Sometimes it can be a little invasive. So just be mind, just be mindful of that. Just be mindful of that. But that's how this feels. I'm in control of myself. I'm in control of my situation. I'm in control of who I date. Um, I, yeah, Pisces, I feel like you're out and about in the field, in the dating field, out in the field, out in the trenches. Although, let's be real, it is kind of like being out in the trenches, right? Um, feeling very much in control of your environment. And you're liking it. It's giving you more confidence. It's giving you a lot more confidence. Some of you are hard at work. Some of you are hard at work as well. Others of you, this is also about that, that deep dive that I was sensing, that cathartic purging, that challenging yourself, right? Challenging yourself to have more control over things in your life. By do Okay. By, and for some of you, it is by looking at yourself and by looking at your wounds here, okay? Some of you are also wondering about work, work opportunities, where to go from here. Some of you felt kind of stagnant. Some of you felt kind of stagnant and you're like, you're wanting to take charge of that. You're wanting to take, take charge of your money to prove you can do it. That's interesting. To prove you can do it. I think to prove that you can just be financially stable on your own. Play more with the Page of Cups. Play more with the Page of Cups for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Play about the Page of Cups for Pisces. Tell me more about the page of, okay tell me more about the page of cups all right ten of pentacles virgo energy this is long long-standing security and legacy yeah some of you are definitely thinking about that trying to gain control of your finances trying to gain control of your financial stability to be very i'm, I'm getting a lot of independence with the idea and, and intention of having a family one day like i need to be independent on my own financially stable on my own and then i can be part of a unit then i can be part of a family unit like, that's how this feels. That's how this feels. And I like that, Pisces. That's beautiful. It is. That's beautiful stuff here. And then we have Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Gemini Energy, and then the Three of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. I feel like someone's watching you, Pisces. Watching. This is the anxiety that I was picking up on. This is interesting. This is the anxiety I was picking up on. 
Pisces, someone's watching you with anxiety a little bit here. They're worried. A lot of late nights. I feel a lot of crying, too. I do feel crying, too. <sighs> a little bit of depression. Um, and with that Three of Pentacles, it's like wanting to build. Wanting to build. Wanting to wanting to work together. Wanting to co collaborate. Wanting to be on the same page. This is someone who's watching you. And they're upset. I, I can feel it. They're upset. They're upset. They feel very separated from you. They feel very isolated from you. And they really just want to talk is what I'm getting. They really just want to talk. They really just want to talk here. But Pisces, you're like gone. You're gone. I feel like you're so careful with this Pisces because I feel like it's cool you want to prove, prove to yourself that you can do something. I think that's really cool. That's really healthy. That provides a lot of growth. But this energy pulling... I think you're pulling on this person, Pisces. To be honest with you, I'm just I'm just being honest. And again, this could be vice versa. But Pisces, I feel like you're energetically pulling on this person so that they do see you. You understand what I'm saying? And you're pulling on more than just them. You're pulling on multiple people. But it's almost like a, see, I can do it. It's kind of like a shove in the face. I got to be honest, Pisces. And I just, I don't like the way that feels. Hey, if you want to do your thing, do your thing. Which clearly you're you're trying. You're putting in a lot of effort to do it. But it does feel a little bit like, look at me, not with you. It feels a little bit like that. It feels a little bit like that. You're pulling on them and they're watching you as a result. Overall energy, 10 of wands in reverse, Sag energy. You're putting the burden down. This, Yeah, putting that burden down. That burden down that I was feeling in the beginning that we saw with the five of wands. Yeah. Putting burdens down, trying to be free, trying, trying to discover more of yourself too and what you want also by purging a lot of shit. And having cathartic releases, that's also going to get you there. Not all of you are doing that, but some of you are. Um, others are just, you're focused on your money. You're focused on your money. You're focused on career, your career. You're focused on yourself. And you're focused on having control. Most of all, control. Control over money. Control over your, your own foundation. Control over your own life. Which, again, is beautiful energy. Just be mindful because, Pisces, I definitely sense that some of you, again, it could be vice versa. I definitely sense that some of you, whoever this Queen of Wands is, because I do feel like it's you, Pisces, um, could be an Aries Pisces, Pis an Aries Pisces and Cusper, but not necessarily. You're definitely pulling on people energetically. So just be mindful of that because there's clearly someone here who's upset. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. So the three of wands in a verse, the two of swords in a verse and justice. Let's look at justice because that's the major arcana here. That's basically going to tell us everything we need to know. We use right or wait to clarify. And then we'll look at this ace of wands, this new beginning that you have for yourself. Okay. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about justice for Pisces. Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th. But it's cool you're discovering yourself, Pisces. I like that. For those Pisces discovering themselves, again, that's beautiful energy. Ooh, Hierophant in reverse, Taurian energy. Breaking of contracts, breaking of commitments, breaking of agreements, breaking of loyalties. That's part of uh, the justice that you're feeling right now. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Pisces regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Pisces. Regarding love from now until September 11th. Cards really want to talk today. <laughs> less cards, please. Less cards, please. Tell me about justice for Pisces. There we go. Ooh, six of wands in reverse. Jupiter, Leo energy. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, justice is breaking commitments, breaking agreements, breaking contracts, uh, breaking loyalties here because it's, it's like this lack of attention is what I'm getting. Lack of attention and lack of success. But I feel attention first and foremost. You know, Pisces, whatever this is that you're cutting out, 
because like I said, it seems like a lot of you have realized that something wasn't happening the way you wanted it to, that there wasn't love there anymore, either on your end or theirs, or that something wasn't working, or maybe that your time together has closed out. And so you're cutting away the waiting, that expectation of it. You're cutting out that expectation of it. And the justice that's being served here is the fact that um, it's something that wasn't making you feel good. It's something that wasn't making you feel good. Let's see what else here. So basically, you got rid of a burden. You got rid of something that was burdening you and stressing you out. Tell me about justice. I just heard Libra. Tell me about justice for Pisces. Tell me about justice for Pisces. Oh, there you go. There you go. Tell me about justice for Pisces. All right, so you got three other cards out here. Wow. We have the Magician, Mercurial Energy, which is Virgo, Gemini. It could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine Masculine Energy. Ten of Cups, Piscean Energy. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse, Virgo Energy. Manifestation. So part of this justice, like I said, breaking away contracts that were not making you happy. Quite literally. Just not making you happy. Not making you feel good. Not making you feel successful. Maybe not, like not the kind of attention you wanted, like feeling like you weren't getting the attention you wanted. Um, but then we have this manifestation energy that comes in Pisces, manifesting your ten of cups, manifesting your ten of cups, manifesting happiness. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, so that tells me that there's still some financial constraints here, which I think is why you're so focused on your pentacles. You're at the eight. That's why you're the nines in reverse. You're at the eight here. You're at the eight. Uh, I also feel manifesting a commitment. I do feel trying to manifest a commitment here. Um, a commitment that's, that can give you something that you weren't getting. A commitment that can give you something that you weren't getting. Overall energy. Oh, oh, ouch. Sorry. I had my tattoo touched up. So now I got to heal all over again. Overall energy. Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. I do feel like this is your energy here, Pisces. So overall, it's like you do have love in your heart. You do. You want love. You want that commitment. You want that commitment, but like I said, your finances aren't where you want it to be. It's like you want to bring something to the table too, is what I'm getting. You don't want to be financially dependent on anybody. Uh, you want to be an equal. You want to be an equal, and that's what you want to manifest. And whatever you were in, you didn't feel that that equalness. You didn't feel feel that equalness because even underneath that, we have Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Yeah, Aries energy with that Four of Wands, and then yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarius. Uh, Aquarian energy, I believe it's moon and Aquarius, actually, moon and Aquarius. So overall, Pisces, like I said, you do have love in your heart and you want love and you want that relationship that's going to give you what you felt like you were missing in this other relationship because you felt like it was just very imbalanced. You felt like it was very imbalanced, even though clearly the four of wands is still standing upright. But seven of swords in reverse, you feel like they're just, it wasn't working out for you. There was either some deception, some sabotage, uh, or some things that just really, what's all this, like, hmm damage i'll just say damage there was damage done to this connection okay and you feel like you got the shitty end of the stick you felt like it was out of balance for you okay and so you're manifesting something that will work for you ace of wands let's look at it let's look at it what do i want to use steam yeah steampunk i want to use steampunk what about this ace of wands for pisces tell me about ace of wands for pisces and whatever the, this is, whatever the Seven of Swords in a verse is, if it's something horrible, if they did something completely atrocious and terrible to you, hey, you do what you had to do, okay? And at the end of the day, that's all we can do is try to do what's best, what's in our best interest and what makes us really happy, okay? But again, just be mindful of the energy pulling it because I can feel a little bit of like a little Five of Swords. -y. Just be mindful of that. You don't want bad karma coming back your way, okay? <laughs> Tell me about Ace of Wands. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Pisces. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Pisces. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Pisces regarding love. From now to September 11th. I just heard, I, okay, sorry. I'm like being drawn back into the Seven of Swords in verse. I just said, I just heard I wasn't doing myself any favors. That's what I just heard with that energy i wasn't doing myself any favors yeah whatever you were in pisces you felt like it just it didn't how do i say this it didn't encourage it didn't encourage you for something what is this 
It's almost like it was, no, come on, Pisces. That's not you. That's not you. I was about to say like it was almost like too good, too easy, but no, you felt like it was imbalanced. You felt like it was imbalanced. Pisces, for those where that just resonated, where it just felt like it was probably too good, that might be some of the wounding you have to look at because if you felt like something was too good, but you still had it, I'm almost feeling this like neat, this like this um, uh, pattern of negative attention here. It might have been a relationship where you weren't, where you were getting positive attention and maybe you grew up in an environment where you were around negative attention and that's how you learned love. So just be mindful of that. Like if that's, if that's something that you deal with, again, it could be vice versa. I'm just the messenger. Don't kill me. Pisces. <laughs> Don't kill me. All right. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. So again, trying to overcome any financial issues or financial constraints you've been experiencing, financial hardships. Definitely was picking up on that from the very beginning. A lot of pentacles here. A lot of pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Pisces. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Pisces. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Pisces. Regarding love from now until September 11th. Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, this Ace of Wands, this is your new passionate beginning. This is your fire under your butt to get out of any financial constraints you've been experiencing and figuring out how to do it. Figuring out how to put your mind to it, put in time and effort to get to your Ten of Pentacles eventually so that you can finish manifesting the kind of commitment you want that you feel is equal because you felt like it wasn't equal. Either you felt like you couldn't give enough. I, I think that might be where, what this is. Like, I wasn't doing myself any favors. It's like when you, I've never been in a relationship like that, but just by observation, where if you get into a relationship where maybe you can't contribute financially, like even up to 50%, like let's say they have to contribute like 80 or 90%, right? Or even sometimes 100, that happens. Um, sometimes people in that situation, not everybody, but sometimes people in that situation where they're on the lesser end of income, they, it makes them feel inadequate, Right. So Pisces, maybe some of you felt very inadequate and whatever it was that you um, decided to stop waiting on or just detach yourself from uh, because you felt like, okay, this person's helping me financially. They're supporting me financially. Am I really doing myself any favors by staying in something like this instead of challenging myself? Some of you might have gone down that road or some of you might be feeling that way. Okay. Only for some of you. Only for some of you. So I have the Ace of Wands. So I have the Ace of Wands. Five of Swords. Boy, what did I say? Been feeling this the whole damn reading. <laughs> Venus and Aquarian energy. It's okay to be determined, Pisces. It's okay to be determined. Uh, just be mindful. Just be mindful of the, the energy that you um, are are sending to people, or like the way you're pulling on people. Because I definitely can feel there's at least one person who's watching you and who's upset. Okay, so just be mindful. If you want them to be upset, that's your karma. I'm just saying. I'm just the messenger. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. For Pisces, regarding love, from now until September 11th. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Pisces. Three of Cups in reverse. Oh boy, Pisces. Cancerian energy. This is very defeating energy here, Pisces. Very defeating energy. Okay, now I'm flashing back to the pre-shuffle energy we had. Where we, it was that Eight of Pentacles in reverse with Death card in reverse. Like not wanting to resurrect anything. Um, Pisces, if this is someone, because this is definitely someone who wants to work with you, I don't think you want to. You don't want to. This feels like a very, I gotta be honest, Pisces, this feels a little cutting. This feels a little cutting, and like I said, it can be vice versa. I feel like I have to say that a lot in this read. Um, it can be vice versa, but I, you're, you're not feeling that. You're not feeling that. Overall energy, we have Queen of Pentacles, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or Water here. This is more of your energy. More of your energy here, Pisces. Underneath that, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Underneath that, we have the King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. You're not giving anyone any attention. Like, you're not giving anyone attention who you feel like doesn't take you seriously. <coughs> Excuse me. Because some of you are definitely dating. You can feel it. Some of you are definitely dating and putting yourself out there, even though you're really focused on your money. You're basically focusing on improving all of everything about you very busy Pisces you're very very busy you're trying to have fun you're trying to be taken seriously you're trying to work on your pentacles you're trying to discover more about yourself um 
I feel like for some of you, this is one person in particular, a true pair situation. So definitely a soulmate of yours, but you have your back turned to this person. For some, it's definitely the person who's watching you. Um, they're upset. You can feel it. They're, again, they're upset. They're upset, but you have your back turned to this Ace of Wands in reverse attached to them because you want your own Ace of Wands is what I just heard because you want your own Ace of Wands. You want your own Ace of Wands. You also feel like this person likes to have too much fun. I don't know what that's about. You feel like this person likes to have too much fun while you're all in business mode right now. I can't pick this up. Hold on. You're all in business mode right now. Business mode, serious mode, nurturing yourself, focusing on you, looking for happiness, wanting to manifest that perfect balance commitment after accumulating your, finance, your finances and stabilizing your financial situation. You have your back turned to this person for now while you're pursuing this. While you're pursuing this and trying to figure out how to get out of any of your financial woes or get out of any, oh, I'm hearing depression again, getting out of any depressive energies as well because you're very inspired to go for the new. And it does feel very much like focus on yourself, okay? Ooh, Pisces, this was intense. A lot of beautiful energy, but also some energy that, you know, just be careful, Pisces, okay? I love you all, I love you all, just be careful. All right, let's go ahead and pull some advice. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? 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 Let's see here. Ooh, B spirit. Sweet results await with the energy of seven. So you being on your path, like I said, Pisces, you're choosing you. You're choosing self growth. You're choosing self exploration. Some of you are dating quite a bit, trying to manifest that perfect commitment. A balanced commitment after you work on your finances and figure out what you want out of life and more about yourself, purging more of yourself as well. And it will pay off. It will pay off. You will have abundance at some point in time. You will have a better financial standing at any point, at, 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 at any given time. It'll get better, Pisces. This is basically Ten of Pentacles energy. It's abundance coming your way. Okay. Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Any advice for my Pisceans regarding this spread? Hey. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. We have Starfish Spirit open to infinite possibilities. 59 breaking down to a 5. Then we have Snake Spirit. <laughs> Time to heal. What did I say, Pisces? All that healing energy. There's also 555, five, five, very indicative of a tower moment. Yeah, Pisces, I can feel it. It's like you're craving to just be out. You're craving to be out. You're craving new experiences. You're craving new people. You're just craving new, 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 new. And it is helping you heal. And a lot of you feel like you do need this to kind of purge a lot of your stuff, which I get. I totally get. And some of you, it's going to pay off. Like for some of you, it's monetizing your pain. Some of you are doing that. And if you're doing that, like I said, it's going to pay off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we got here. Oh my God, I thought, I thought I felt something crawling on me. Any other advice for Pisces? Ooh, any other advice for Pisces? Any other advice for Pisces? Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Oh, oh damn it. This is one of my favorite cards and I feel a sadness on it. Um, We have Otter Spirit. You are never alone, 42 breaking down to a six, and wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom, 67 breaking down to a four, stability. This is making me sad, Pisces, because it's very clear that you're like solo, like diehard solo right now, even if you're dating. Um, I feel like this is, I feel like this is someone that you have your back turned to. Hold on. I feel like this is the king of wands energy that some of you have your back turned to, the person who's watching you with anxiety and sadness and late nights and unable to sleep. Like I said, they're watching you. God, look at those wolf eyes. They're watching you. 
And this is someone who really truly does care about you, Pisces. And again, this energy of like, you think they don't take you seriously or that you can't take them seriously. It's like, I feel like it's like a little bit of a disconnect, a little bit of a miscommunique, um, or just difference in growth. You know, people grow all the time, change all the time. Sometimes we grow apart. Sometimes we grow differently. And it's like, oh shit, like, who are you? <laughs> right? But there's this energy of like, you have your back turned because it's almost like you just, yeah, like you just can't take them seriously for whatever reason or another. You can't take them seriously, but Pisces, they take you seriously. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Anyway, uh, so I'm turning knowledge into wisdom. This is someone who definitely cares about you, who supports you. Um, for some of you, it is a financial support. And like, I think that's probably over time has just made you feel inadequate. Um, so I know that you're not really liking that. But either way, I'm getting the wisdom energy with this. I feel like this person who wa who's watching you, they'll always have a spot for you in their heart, even if you're away from them. Um, but this has been a learning experience for them too, is what I'm getting. Oh, I don't want to go here. I don't want to go here. <sighs> Fuck. This person's sad. This person's really sad. Um, I just, hmm. I don't think, I think this person is, is mature enough and wise enough to not go to a bitter place about it, Pisces, um, but I can, I can feel it in their heart chakra. They're really upset. Like, they're really sad. They're really hurting, um, but this has been a lesson learned from them, for them, and this is going to teach you a lot of lessons, too, and like I said, it's like you're ready to open a lot of doors. You're ready to open a lot of doors. This is a very Seven of Cups energy, and like I said, some of you are dating quite a bit, um, and it is very cathartic for you as well. It is very healing for you as well, and I think this person is trying to respect that um but they do miss you quite a bit they do miss you quite a bit and this is teaching them something about you know their experiences moving forward as well but pisces they always got your back they always got your back i can feel that um they always have your back even if they're upset with you right now and upset with the situation but they do always have your back okay overall we do have pig spirit use your mind wisely 47 breaking down to an 11 this is playing stuff playing it smart Playing it smart, being smart about what you're doing, being smart about how you're going about things. And like I said, you're already in that strategy mode. Like I have control over me. I have control over my life. I have control over what's going to happen to me next and what I'm going to do and what I'm going to manifest. And I'm going to manifest a balanced commitment where I can contribute financially um, or a balanced commitment where I finally can get uh, what I haven't been getting in my current uh, situation here. Okay, so just be smart. I don't even need to tell you that. Y'all already know you're Pisces and your third eye is shining bright right there. <laughs> right yeah so pisces i think you're gonna be fine i think you're gonna be just fine um again just be very mindful about how you're coming off because this feels like a very i said like very five of swords cutting energy do you do you do you do your thing um but there's no need to and again it could be vice versa so i could be talking to cross watcher but there's no need to to make it a game you know what i mean Okay? Okay. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. All right, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.